Uh, but Xbox 360s actually had memory cards. Um, which I used to use to bring my save data to friends' houses. Um, but now you could just kind of... I don't know, I don't understand the point of it. Of having a 360 memory card when you could just kind of pop your hard drive off. It was pretty easy to pop your hard drive off and put it on... Uh, how the hell do you get that thing? You have to somehow get up top there. Yeah, but like, there, there was, I don't know, that was, why did I even have that? I don't remember. Why did I have a 360 memory card? I don't have it anymore. But I do know that at one point... Oh, that didn't help. Whatever, it's right outside the hideout. Eventually, when we can figure out how to get up there, we'll go. But yeah. Um, like when I used to go to Link's house. A lot. I would bring my good old-fashioned memory card over to bring my save data instead of just popping my hard drive off. But I guess you could buy it if you got one of the... the uh, They did sell Xbox 360s without hard drives. Um, I don't know, that was weird. Now that I think about it, that's, that's weird. Having an Xbox without a hard drive. But whatever, the point is, is that Splatterhouse was a really fun game, but Splatterhouse had really bad load times. And I remember that once you uh, installed it, it like cut the it cut the save time. I mean, the load times down to like 14 seconds or something. Like that. that crack in the wall looks like the perfect entrance, but you'd better keep a low profile until we know what's going on. Oh, I had to sneeze. Excuse me. I hear you, pal. Yeah, it cut it cut it from like 47. I can't remember if if I had it on PlayStation and then I bought it on Xbox. And installed it because it was bad. No, I think what happened was I originally had it on Xbox and it was butt because of the loading times. And I installed it and it dropped it down to like 17 seconds or 15 seconds or something like that. And then uh, I think after I beat it, I got rid of it because it just I was just done. And then I, I think I ended up rebuying it on PS3 like a few years after that. I know I played that and Dante's Inferno at the same time, which is a pretty cool game. Dante Inferno is it's pretty fun. It just has a lot of has a lot of has a lot of dick in it, <laughs> which is kind of weird to hear in video games. You know, there was a time in video games where like bad words and like boobs were like starting to become like super like edgy and shit like that. So they just would try to trick you with bad words and mad cleavage. Then all of a sudden there was just an era in gaming where there was just dicks Carmelita. everywhere. Don't worry, Sly. Dante's Inferno, sure we'll hear from her soon. Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> bunch of other shit too. I'd have to think about it. Dicks in video games. I'm gonna put that on my resume next to the, the paper I'm gonna write about all the all the uh, Dennis Rodman clones in video games. Cause that was another thing that used to always make me laugh. That like whenever like a, a game would come out that have like a like a black guy in it, they look like Dennis Rodman. Like Zack from Dead or Alive. Stuff like that. Straight up just Dennis Rodman. But dicks in video games. That noise is so like satisfying. I don't know why. I don't know why that's just so gross sounding. But um, just talking balls. I remember my first video game I played that had bad words. It was the first Blood Rain game. Yeah, that La Paradox is bad news. I heard last time he was here, he yanked this one guy's tusks just for fun. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I yanked to the ladies without any tusks. Ouch. Yeah, yeah Blood Rain. Back guy. when I was like a little kid, I like a you, smaller kid, I didn't really, I bought a lot of video games that a lot of people thought I bought because I was a pervert, and I didn't even notice until I was older that like that was a bad thing, you know what I mean? So like, I bought Blood Rain, which like I read a lot of stuff about it, and uh, I never played a vampire game before. I know a lot of people played like Legacy of Cain. I never played those games, but I just thought it was so cool that like you got health by like sucking people's blood, and then all of a sudden bought it, and there's just bought a lot of just a lot of boobs in it, and I didn't even mind, man. I didn't even that was the last thing on my mind. I just wanted to wanted to just eat people, and like. Blood Rain was kind of cool, you feel me? A little bit. I never beat it when I was younger, though. I did beat it not too long ago. But. 
Yeah. Blood rain. And then I bought Rumble Roses. Boy. Boy. Hear me out, though. I didn't buy that for everyone else's reason. I bought it because I was upset with WWE games, and I was like, I want to get my wrestling fix. What game is this? I'll take it. And boy, was I disappointed that all it had was singles matches and mud wrestling. I think I had that game for like a week, a week or a weekend or something like that. And I just sold it. I either sold it or gave it away. One of the two. No, I didn't give it away. When I was... I didn't have any money. I couldn't afford to give it away. Maybe I sold it. I don't know. Brought it to GameStop. So here, take these boobies away from me. They're butt. That noise. I was like, take them away. I completely missed. I was supposed to get up there. I had to get over the arena gate, but we were up top and I jumped down. I'm assuming that wasn't a, a good thing to do. We need to go back up. So let's just go back up. Oh, I see it now. Okay. But yeah, I used to buy stuff like that when I was little. I didn't notice until I was way older. I was like, man, people would have been like, man, it's like a little 12-year-old boy buying, buying Rumble Roses. What a perv. I didn't even think girls, I didn't even know girls existed then. I don't even think I like girls then. I was still in my cootie stage. I'm still in my cootie stage. <laughs> wow. I'm glad I'm not that poor guy. What's weird is that he looks kind of familiar. Wait. Holy missing links. Why, that's a prehistoric raccoon. I wonder if... He could be... My ancestor? It's a distinct possibility. Let's help him out. Sly, I have an idea. But you need to get that saber-toothed tiger skin. Just don't let the guards see you. I'm on it, Bentley. One tiger skin coming up. It's funny. We just see any kind of raccoon and we're like, Hey, that, that's, my, that's my dad. My dad. Why am I not surprised he's part of this? That's my granddad right there. Doesn't it look almost like a... Sly, you need to hurry! I think you might want to use a paraglider here, Sly. Okay. We gotta go save him. We saw the Laker bear in the corner by. This guy's painting is not improving my opinion of him. Forget about the art. See that key? I bet it unlocks that door. Right. Time for some real art. The art of pickpocketing. Hey. Van Gogh ain't got nothing on me. Come on now. Hold that big fool still. Oh. Huh. Okay. Does he just go ain't got nothing on me? Come on now, hold that big fool still. There we go. You got the key. Go grab that tiger skin, Sly. What if we could just? What if? What if we had the chance to just kill him right then and there? We can miniaturize him. Excellent, Sly. Now get that tiger skin. Oh, you told me like eight times, Bentley. I'm getting there. Shit, slow down. Slow your roll. Not really my color, but I'll make it work. Sabertooth costume. Go, Sly. Now get going. Sly's gadget grid has a new costume. You can press L, hold L2. Alright. Standing, Sly. That Sabertooth skin is just what we need. If I know my biomechanics, and I do, then I believe those claws will give you extra traction. Allowing you to make some amazing leaps. And here I Try thought that we were just gonna attack people. 
Press and hold the R2 button to target that post. Then press the X button to leap to the target. That's so ghetto. That's awful. I did <laughs> ah! This is all this is somebody somebody was yeah, this, this is good, I like it. I'll take it. Fuck it. This is fantastic. You can even walk while playing dead. It's absolutely just the greatest shit. Perfect, you need a costume Sly. to do that, Sly. Look at they and their chicken fight and whooping each other's ass. Oh man, that's funny. And here I thought today was the day that I just wasn't gonna have it. Let's see, we can't even. Oh, here it is. That's so it, awful. <laughs> That's so bad. Pounce the guard. Where you at, though? Didn't know that lava bubbled like that. Says the young man. Slice, you can even use that outfit to take out enemies from a distance. Try targeting the guard across that gap. Oh, I guess it does kind of look like Slice came. Yo, make it quick with that stick. The Grizz don't play. I ain't got all day. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Here's the cheese. Now I want to talk to your boss about my goods. The guards on those pedestals are the ones restraining him, Sly. Take them out and he should be free. Looks easy enough. Be careful, Sly. If you're caught, you'll never get it out of there. This is the perfect situation for your cyclone pouch. Yep, you're right. And I'm about to do it, too. Ah! Oh. Oh, okay. Alright. Can't let the bubbles... <laughs> Can't let the bubbles cock block us. Oh, I almost jump, jump, jump. That's all. He's good. He's give us free. Comparison test, facial features, fur legs, tail volume, and according to them all, that cave raccoon is definitely your ancestor. I believe you found the very first Cooper. I'm not sure I see the resemblance, but I'll take your word for it, Batman. Hey, big guy, what do you say we get out of here? He's got a caveman dad bod? Well, no. We've never met. But a reliable source tells me we're distantly related. I'm not sure what to say. Um, it, it's truly amazing to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Um, my name's Sly. Sly Cooper. What's yours? Right. How about I just call you Bob? He's right, Sly. You two should get out of there before more guards show up. Bob and his Come dad on, Bob? Me. Dad Bob Jovi? Okay. I guess we'll do it your way. Well, shit. I expect him to be like cut, you know? Like usually like cavemen are like buff as hell because they got to fight for their food and then Sly's distant relative. 
as like the the body of a muscular Hank Hill. <laughs> <sighs> what is my life? We got Bob safely back to the hideout, where everyone took an immediate liking Damn, to Bob it. Damn, Bob is thick. And he took an immediate interest in our gadgets. While he was busy, Bentley provided the background on his former captor. The guy's name was Grizz, and he'd made his fame in the art world. Once a common street thug, he'd been thrust into the limelight when he was plucked from the gutter and made famous by a prominent pop artist. Grizz's primitive artwork was hailed as a brilliant new style called paleo graffiti. And for a while, he enjoyed a celebrity status. His Until. fame was short-lived, however, when people realized his art was really just bad. Resentful, he returned to his criminal roots, quickly becoming the top art thief on Interpol's most wanted list. The boy was a One shitty artist and just became targets, a thief. It was now clear how he'd managed to evade her capture for so long. That's funny. After we pried Bob away from Bentley's tools, he explained how Grizz had appeared and started harvesting all the pterodactyl eggs in the area. Eliminating his role as food provider for the tribe and greatest egg thief ever. Depressed, he'd gone into a slump and gotten out of shape. Oh, yeah. Which allowed okay. Grizz to capture him and take the new tool he'd invented to help him steal eggs. So it looked like the very first Cooper Kane had been stolen as well. Great. We may have rescued Bob from the arena. But we still needed to find out what sort of operation Grizz was running for La Paradox, and why it involved stealing all the eggs. We also needed Bob's help to find the rest of the van parts. And that meant we had to get him back into climbing shape, fast. I mean, his arms are still big. He just has dad body. A very... Yeah, let's, yeah, let's just go with Dad Body. Dad Bod Jovi. Meter recharger, run while charging. Automatically charges gadget meter in the blink of an eye. Uh, slow, slow slide to run while charging using left stick. Okay. Um, let's just not worry about that right now. Just for the moment. Caveman Dad Bob? Y'all ready? We gotta get this. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. We got a cave diaper and everything. I wonder what his special ability is. Bussin' ass? Well, looks like he can't jump on any, uh, railings or anything. That's not uh, too bad. You gotta smack penguins, though. And baby dinosaurs. I guess we'll find out what his special ability is. He still uses bone to rob people, though. Oh, but then what the hell is this thing? Is it sleep? It's all up in the floor like it's dead. You load that job. I like how it's got to tell you, like, hey, loading job, and then it actually starts loading the job. I don't understand why it doesn't just come straight to the screen and then just start loading. It's got to, like... It's got to load to load. It's going to let you know that it's about to start loading and then it loads. Boy. Oh, okay. The Murray games. 